<laughs> Hi everyone, here's Bumble at the beginning of my video and I just wanted to say sorry for not being as productive on YouTube as much lately but I do have some news and it is that I am looking for work in North America either America or Canada um, as a storyboard artist and I have been preparing my portfolio for the past few weeks and I have finally applied for some jobs so um wish me luck with that <laughs> uh, i'm not going to talk too much about it but if you follow me on my twitter then you can see a little bit more about what i'm doing and my updates in my life so you'll hear if i do get a job and um also i've kind of been a little bit addicted to overwatch <laughs> i actually haven't played it today and i'm getting withdrawals i'm like ah i need to play overwatch um my lovely friend pi and another stream viewer donated enough money for me to buy overwatch origins edition on pc and most of you know that I got my new PC set up lately, so I've been playing the hell out of PC games at last. And Overwatch is just absolutely incredible. Um, it does seem a bit pricey, so if you're kind of hard up for cash at the moment, I probably wouldn't recommend going and like spending a load of money on it. But if you've got the free time or the free money or you just got paid, or like payday weekend or whatever, um, I fully recommend it if you're really into shooters. Um, I've not played it on console, I've only played it on PC, and before you all ask, yes you can add me on Battle.net. I can't guarantee that I will always be able to group with people, um, but and, and I probably won't be around to answer personal questions on Battle.net, um, because if I'm playing a game that means I'm spending my own free time, um, so just kind of respect that if you do add me. I don't want to get like messages that I would have to answer like elsewhere or anything. Um, yeah, so um, my battle net is teacupbat, uh, hashtag 2701, and I'll put a link in the description. And yeah, so um, I actually main Diva, who is the next video, because I've decided to do watercolours of all my favourite characters in Overwatch, and I've only played as female characters so far, and uh, I actually haven't even played as Mercy, but Mercy is probably my favourite design out of the whole um, array of characters. I also really like Tracer's design, Diva's design, and um, Zarya's design. Oh, Zarya is so great. <laughs> and yeah, so I really wanted to draw Mercy, like I've wanted to draw fan out of her and Tracer for a long time, even before playing the game. Um, and I just had to draw Mercy first because she's just so beautiful and I love her. Um, and I really like it when someone plays Mercy and they follow me around because I main tanks and I can just absolutely slam into like the oncoming forces and if I've got a really good healer behind me it's incredible. So um, shout out to all the really good Mercy players out there that help people like me. <laughs> um, yeah so I decided to do a watercolour, this didn't take me long which is why the video is not very long. The video, the, the whole process um, probably took me less than an hour actually. Um, which is very fast. <laughs> so I didn't have much footage to work with. This is at the regular speed that I do all of my videos and I was considering slowing it down a touch, but I thought it would kind of look a bit jarring. But anyway, um, I'm using my Winsor Newton Cotman watercolors here. And I, um, I, I do have some professionals, actually the gray that you see there is my neutral tint professional watercolor from Winsor Newton. And um, there's a few other colours in there, such as the gouache, which I use later. Um, I use a gold gouache, and I don't think I use any other colour on her out of the gouache tubes. But those are Winsor Newton Designers gouache, which are also a professional grade product, not a student grade, like Cotman. And yeah, I just, I think her design is absolutely gorgeous. Like, there is this part of me that if I had the time, I would cosplay the hell out of Mercy. She is so pretty and so great and I'd be just like this potato dressed as Mercy. <laughs> I'm using uh, Maxie's word there. They always describe themselves as a potato. <laughs> like, I would look so bad, but I love her. She's, she's great. Um, yeah, so feel free to add me on Overwatch and let me know in the comments who you main on Overwatch because I don't actually find a lot of people who do main tanks like me. Um, I, I don't think I've come across anyone else who does main D.Va as much as I do and when I say main I mean I really just play as her. Um, her and Widowmaker and I'm trying to practice a little bit more as Tracer because Tracer's gorgeous. <laughs> um, I do have a next painting which is Diva and I was just really excited because I got to use a lot of pink <laughs> and 
I do have the footage for that and I'm going to edit that hopefully tomorrow and you'll see that this week. Um, again, sorry for not producing as many videos all at once. I mean, I am prepping for Manchester MCM Expo and I'm also, like I said, I'm keeping on top of my portfolio now. Um, I'll put my portfolio link in the description below so you can have a look at that. Um, and yeah, so basically that's my kind of announcement is that I am seeking work to emigrate over to North America. Um, I'm looking into getting a visa for Canada and this has been on the cards for some time now. Um, it has always been a dream of mine to work as a storyboard artist for the past probably like five or six years. This has been my goal in life and I've always felt too shy to attempt it. But I think now that I could probably, you know, maybe work at a studio, I, I would definitely have the, I don't know, the, the drive to work at a studio now. Um, whereas I was too nervous before to apply for studios. So um, I've got a lot of people backing me up and a lot of people encouraging me. So pray for these two jobs that I've applied for. <laughs> I'm not telling you where. Um, but I have my dreams and I have my goals and ambitions and this is one of them and so I hope you'll all support me on that. Uh, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop making videos so don't worry but uh, stay tuned with that and hopefully you'll hear some good news from me. But yes, thank you for watching guys and stay tuned for my diva and uh, check out my live streams where I'm going to be streaming some Overwatch fan art on there too. So bye guys!